A healthy and safe day, my dear students. Before we start our lesson, let us have some brief class reminders. One, I want you to settle to a convenient and comfortable place. Second, dedicate your full attention on the screen. Third, place your learning materials beside you. Fourth, I want you to respond virtually as if I am with you throughout the lesson. Fifth, relax, engage, and find enjoyment in today's lesson. Before we start our lesson, let us have our individual prayer. Now that we have a blessing from the Lord, I hope that everybody will learn a lesson today. Now, answer this question. As an adolescent, you experience numerous health issues that pertain to your well-being. Can you give some of your concerns about your health? I will give you time to answer this. Now let's move on to the bigger scenario. I want you to think of the latest national health trend, issue, or concern that our country is experiencing and think of ways on how our government addresses that issue or problem. I will give you time to answer this. Today, we will be discussing national health trends, issues, concerns, and their existing health-related laws or policies. But first, let us define what are policies. First, policies serve as a guide to protect the people. We will be at war if we have no policies. Second, they help people in knowing their rights as well as their liabilities in maintaining peace and order. Now, here in the Philippines, we have different policies that are related to our health, and these are First, Consumer Act Tobacco Regulation Act Responsible Parenthood and Reproductive Health Act of 2012 We have the Traditional and Alternative Medicine Act of 1997 Philippine AIDS Prevention and Control Act of 1998 Comprehensive Dangerous Drugs Act of 2002 Cybercrime Prevention Act Anti-Child Pornography Act, Anti-Hazing Law, Mandatory Reporting of Notifiable Diseases and Health Events of Public Health Concerns Act, 1133-2. Let's start with Consumer Act. It protects the interests of the consumer, promotes his or her general welfare, establishes standards of conduct for business and industry. Some highlights of this law are Article 46, every producer should label their products if those are hazardous or dangerous. Banned hazardous products but still delivered by producers are strictly prohibited. The duty of the state is it should enforce compulsory labeling and fair packaging to, en and fair packaging to enable the consumer to obtain accurate information, quality and quantity of the contents of products, and to facilitate comparison of the value of such products. Article 80, Special Packaging of Consumer Products for the Protection of Children Article 84, Additional Labeling Requirements of Food Expiration date whether the product is semi-cooked, fully processed or ready to eat, and if the ingredients used are natural or synthetic Additional Labeling Requirements for Cosmetics Labeling Requirements for a Cigarette A product should have the Philippine Product Standard Mark and there should be a designation of warranty such as full and limited warranty. Tobacco Regulation Act It is an act that protects people from the sale, use, and ad advertisements of hazardous tobacco products. It bans smoking in public places. It restricts access to sale of tobacco products to minors. May not be sold within 100 meters of a school and provide the printing of warnings on cigarette packs in either Filipino or English. Next is the Responsible Parenthood and Reproductive Health Act of 2012. It provides for maternal and child health care, family planning, and responsible parenthood. It has four pillars. One is informed choice, two is respect for life, three is birth control, and four is responsible parenthood. Next is 
the Traditional and Alternative Medicine Act of 1997. It is an act creating the Philippine Institute of Traditional and Alternative Health Care to accelerate the development of traditional and alternative health care in the Philippines, providing for a traditional and alternative health care development fund and for other purposes. Next is Philippine AIDS Prevention and Control Act of 1998. It is an act promulgating policies and prescribing measures for the prevention and control of HIV or AIDS in the Philippines, instituting a nationwide HIV, AIDS information and educational program, establishing a comprehensive HIV AIDS monitoring system, strengthening the Philippine National AIDS Council and for other purposes. Next is the Comprehensive Dangerous Drugs Act of 2002. It is the policy of the state to safeguard the integrity of its territory and the well-being of its citizenry, particularly the youth, from the harmful effects of dangerous drugs on their physical and mental well-being and to defend the same against act or omissions detrimental to their development and preservation. Next is the Cybercrime Prevention Act. The law mandates the prohibition of cybersex, child pornography, unsolicited commercial communications, and computer-related identity theft. Next is the Anti-Child Pornography Act. It protects all child from all forms of exploitation and abuse, including but not limited to the use of a child in pornographic performances and materials. The Anti-Hazing Law is a national legislation in the Philippines regarding the act of hazing and other initiation rights in fraternities and sororities in the country. It prohibits and penalizes physical harm and violence in such practices. The Mandatory Reporting of Notifiable Diseases and Health Events of Public Health Concern Act of 1133-2 to protect and promote the right to health of the people and instill health consciousness among them. It shall endeavor to protect the people from public health threats through the efficient and effective disease surveillance of notifiable diseases including emerging and re-emerging infectious diseases. Diseases for elimination and eradication, epidemics, and health events including chemical, radionuclear, and environmental agents of public health concern and provide an effective response system in compliance with the 2005 International Health Regulations or the IHR of the World Health Organization or the WHO. The state recognizes epidemics and other public health emergencies as threats to public health and national security which can undermine the social, economic, and political functions of the state. Now, think about it. I want you to give some importance of health-related laws in the society and the lives of its citizens. I will give you time to answer this.